Hey, today we're going to talk about permissions. Permissions is a very important topic and I want to go over it in two parts. So this part is going to be basic permission setting and then the next part is going to be advanced permission setting. Let's get started by going over the various permission dialogues that exist within Neos and how they work and what they mean. I'm going to quickly turn on my private UI and switch to POV and move the camera display to the side. Most of the permission system occurs within private UI. The first thing though is the session menu down here. By clicking this, you get this menu and this can control who can join the world. Nobody, which is what this world is on right now, means that no one except invited users can join the world. So nobody and invited users, sorry, forgot the slash there. LAN users means only users on your local network. Um, the Sydney University that's using NEOS, uh, SHFR, they use LAN users a lot to um, have people in the same lab join, or like a friend downstairs, or a friend in another room, or a family member in another room, that's LAN users. Friends is only friends here in NEOS. Registered users is only users who have a NEOS account, and then anyone is absolutely anyone, including unregistered users who are new players. Make sure these are set appropriately. If you default on your belt menu to the invisible state here, any new world that you create will be marked as nobody. So if you ever want to just like hide and lurk in some, uh, in some private worlds, just set this to invisible, then any world you create will, will default to private. Next, we're going to hop over to the permission tab. Now on the permission tab, you're going to see a big table of, of information. We're going to go through it line by line and explain what's going on. But to start with, we need to explain the various types of permission sets that exist within Neos. They are admin, builder, moderator, guest, spectator. You'll see for each of these items, there is an admin, um, admin builder, moderator, and guest, and spectator option. We'll come back to this in just a moment. I'm going to explain these options down the left here. So default anonymous is the rank which you give to any anonymous users which are visiting the, the world. Default Visitor is the rank you give to any registered users visiting the world. Default Friend is the rank you give to any friends visiting the world. And Default Host is the host permissions that the host gets when they open the world. More on that one in a little bit. Beneath this um, black line is the permissions that each user gets when they uh, join a world. You'll see only users that are in the world appear here. And the host can't modify their own permissions if they're a builder. If other users were here, you would see an orange icon where you can change what their permission set is. So the orange signifies where they currently are, and then there'll be white options for where to put them. With that being said, let's go over what each of these options means. So on spectator, users by default, and I say by default because of the advanced permission system, but by default, spectators can't touch anything. They can't push any buttons, they can't spawn any objects in, they can't save any objects out of the inventory, they'll have issues changing avatars as well. The avatar that they come in with is the avatar that they will uh, load into, but they won't be able to then change. Um, they will not be able to look at any inspectors or any dev menus, they won't be able to spawn anything in. Um, actually, they will be able to look at them, but they can't touch them. Um, but this is basically just the uh, the locked the maximum lockdown. They can't do much in this permission group. Guest is the next one. Guest allows slightly more permissions. In guest, you can spawn items in, you can um, touch m most buttons, and you can interact with the world. Guest is the default state that most people are placed in if they're not any of the higher ranks. It just lets them interact with the world and um, spawn stuff in. They can also save stuff out. They can transfer objects in, uh, click on all sorts of things. The only things they're restricted from doing are covered by the next permission sets. Moderator controls um, the ability to kick or change the roles of another user. So you can use that if you've got a really big world and you want to elect someone as a moderator but not a builder. Builder is the one that lets people build. It lets them touch UI. So um, as a non-builder, you can't equip this tool because it's a developer tool. And when you create a UI element, like one of these, this is an inspector, non-builders can't touch these, but builders can. 
Builders also can't equip many other types of tools, including the logics tooltip and the uh, material tooltip. So you're limited to basically only um, non-building tools when in a non-builder state. So builder is the like god mode, if you like. It lets you do absolutely anything to the world and its inhabitants. The last one is admin. Admin is more sort of a meta role which controls the sort of saving, the permissions, and the management of the world um, as a whole, like world orb or world object. Like you can save the world, edit the tags, um, change up how it works. Uh, you are like effectively the owner of the world. I don't recommend putting anyone in an admin unless you're doing groups. Um, groups is a system that does exist, but it's uh, kind of manual right now. You have to speak to the team to get one sorted. Um, so I recommend only ever getting someone as far as builder, never put them into admin. Um, there's no real need, they get everything they need in builder. Um, admins will be able to save a copy of the world, uh, depending on the permissions that are set up. So uh, if you need someone to save a copy of a world and you've got it set so only admins can, then you might have to put them to admin, but otherwise there's no real need to put them as admin. On builder and moderator status, you can also use more of this menu here. So on moderator, you can kick and ban. I think on builder, you can kick and ban as well. You can respawn people and um, on guest, you can jump to them. Any user can mute any other user. That's just a common uh, thing to combat the, the any noise spammers or anything. That's all there is really for permissions. My recommended permissions are default anonymous spectator. You have no idea who they are. Um, if they're coming in anonymous, um, they're usually new to Neos. Um, give them a gentle introduction before upgrading them. Maybe upgrade them to guest, but don't shunt them directly to uh, builder. The visitor, I'm sorry to say, it, it's also spectator right now. Um, depending on the environment as well, if you're running a world and you're building something, spectator is the best. If you're having a sandbox where you're, you you know that the world state's going to be trashed, then um, guest might be okay. But otherwise, if you're building a big project, keep visitor on spectator. Friends, I've seen it common to be friends that are builders. I agree with that one. If again, it's a sandbox world or um, you're building something um, collaborative. If you're building something more locked down or you don't want people to um, add stuff which could be seen as a mess, then um, drop that down. Maybe leave friend as guest if you're okay with them spawning stuff in. You will have to clean that up though if you're working on an active project. Otherwise, spectator. Um, host, host is an interesting one. So host controls like the permissions a host gets when joining the world. So most worlds in Neos are open in that you can edit them freely. You can like, you can open up say the box, which is one of my maps and you can edit that. You can open up the, um, Radian Island by Veer and you can edit lots of those settings there. If you don't want that to occur, then you can change up the, um, default host permissions to be less than that. If you want people to not build in your world, you can set the default host to be guest and then no one can be assigned to builder because the admin can't assign them to builder. Um, examples of this include uh, the Neos hub. The Neos hub is locked down so that you can't build in it even if you are the host. Um, Vigil by myself is another example. Um, you can't grant builder ranks in there, only I can and only I can if I host the world. That's it for um, basic permissions. Keep these in mind. Keep these in mind as well when you bring someone out of Spectator that they can they can spawn stuff in. Um, if they're in Spectator, they can't even use guns or other tools. So if you leave them in Spectator, you're safe from things like the shrink ray, um, any guns which kind of kill you, anything like that, because they just they can't spawn them in. If they are in the world, they won't be able to grab them, um, and they won't be able to equip them either. So just keep in mind what you're doing with permissions there. Hope that helps explain the permissions a bit. I know I got confused about why moderator existed. Um, I haven't seen much use of it. It might be something that's done during the permission system rework where they swap those around. It feels like moderator should be more than builder, uh, but we'll see what the team comes up with. I'm gonna move on to advanced permissions in the next video. Um, stand by for that. That's a super cool one to show you how um, to configure this more to make things more locked down or less locked down or more specific to your needs. I hope that was helpful. See you later.